Hello, I'd like to demonstrate to you the proper technique to remove a built-in type kickstand on some older bikes um, that were manufactured years ago. Sometimes they're called Sprague type kickstands. Um, you can see one on here. This is an old Schwinn Fastback that uh, used one. Um, this is the kickstand itself. Um, it goes into the uh, kickstand housing, which is the painted portion here. Um, what I'd like to do is demonstrate to you the proper technique with the proper tools to remove this and to um, replace or uh, reinstall it. Some videos that I've seen on YouTube or the internet um, are kind of crude in some respect, but they're okay. Um, I'd like to demonstrate the use with proper tools on this uh, demonstration to you. So what I'd first like to do is show you the uh, tools that you're going to need to do this. Um, there's basically just three tools. Um, the first one um, is a tool that was manufactured by Park Tool Company. Don't believe they manufactured it any longer. It was, it's referred to as a KS-1. Um, Schwinn also made a tool to remove this. Um, that one would be extremely difficult to get a hold of. But you might be able to still acquire the, uh, the park tool. And that looks like this tool right here. It is the tool. Um, so I don't know if you can see that. It's like that. Um, this is just a little flappy thing here that, that goes behind the kickstand housing. And this portion here is going to put tension on the... Um, um, bushing that you can see right here this is the silver portion here it looks like almost like a washer here that goes in there that's an actual bushing that's uh, placed onto the kickstand the other tools that you're going to need are two other tools real simple you should have them just the common everyday pliers and a screwdriver um, so the first thing we're going to do is um, kind of go over this a little with you and I'll show you more when I remove it from here but inside here basically what there is is a um, you can see on top here this is the um, uh, uh, retaining pin that's used uh, to hold in that uh, kickstand so inside here I'll remove that shortly here but you're going to see on the far end here it's referred to as a cam uh, and then there's a dowel pin, and then there's a washer, and then a spring. That dowel pin holds that washer and that spring in place. And the cam itself is on the opposite end, the closest to the chain ring itself. And that's independent of the whole kickstand itself, this portion here. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is demonstrate how to remove this. What you're going to do is take this tool here. You're going to place it on the back side of the housing, closest to the chain ring. And then it's simply uh, rotating this portion here. So it's going to go in between the, this portion here. It's going to go right through your uh, kickstand itself. You're going to pull on it a little. It's going to depress that uh, bushing, or I'm sorry, yes, correct, the bushing. And then what you're going to take is your pliers. And you're going to grab onto that retaining pin and just pull up on that and out okay and you'll want to put that down you don't want to lose that and I'll show you a closer up shot of that here shortly and what you're going to do is just remove your tool itself you're done using that for now um, after you've done that it's simply just pulling out the kickstand itself um, and um, you're going to clean it um, you can take this whole thing apart. It's really not necessary um, unless you see some damaged part on it. Um, if the uh, dowel pin is damaged, um, then you'd want to replace that. It might be hard to get a hold of some of these parts, but some older uh, shops and everything, uh, you, should, you should be able to get them from them. But what I would do is just leave all this intact. Um, but basically, here's the dowel pin right here. Uh, if you can see that, I'm trying to get a little closer for you here. 
you can see what I'm talking about. Uh, again, here's the uh, this is the dowel pin here. Uh, here's the washer that I spoke of earlier, the spring, and then the bushing itself. This is the bushing itself. Um, so you won't really need to remove those if you do, if you want to. It's simple. You're just gonna basically put this thing in a vise, clamp it on this side here, and uh, this is gonna get the pushed on with the vise, and then you'll be able to uh, pound that pin out. I wouldn't recommend doing that because when you take this out, it's just gonna be greasy, and that's what you want to do is clean that up and uh, repack some of the grease in there. Okay, that's the kickstand itself, and then. Also, now with your screwdriver, um, you're going to want to come in through the back side uh, of the housing itself, and you're going to see the cam on this side, and you're just going to poke it out through this side with, with the uh, screwdriver. Okay? And that's the cam itself that I was referring to. Um, if anything is going to be damaged, it's probably going to be the cam itself. These portions here are going to get worn here, um, and then you'd have to get that replaced. What's uh, key to these is, hopefully you can see this, and see if I can't get in a little closer here, is if you see right here, there's a notch up on there, right, oops right there there's a notch that notch has to is an indicator as to how this has to be repositioned inside that housing okay right here inside here um, the what I would call the castle portion you can see it looks like a top of a castle that's going to be uh, towards the non drive side the flush side with that little hash mark in it cut a uh, notch in it is going to be towards the chain ring. So when we replace this, what we're simply going to do is we're going to make sure that that notch right there, whoops, sorry, is um, facing the bottom of the housing. So as you can see it right there, as I flip this up, this notch is right here. So it's going to be closest to this uh, bottom of the housing. So, so all you're going to do is to reinstall this whole thing after you've cleaned her is Push that back in, keep that straight. Then what you need to do is you can come back on the back side here from the chain ring side and you'll be able to see right completely through here um, and it's triangular shaped. Um, you're going to look for that notch that I just showed you. And that notch should be on the top here. You should see it here. not not on either of the other two sides. It's gotta be on the, the bottom of the housing. That's the proper position of it. That's the indicator. So then, now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your kickstand that you've cleaned and you've re-greased, um, and you're gonna reinsert that into the housing. Um, if you'd like, sometimes what you, to install this, to make this, so I think I want to pop this out real quick to show you another way to do it, is if you want, you can put this already together, but what you want to do is, again, you'll want to look for that, that notch right there, and then you're going to have it on the kickstand already in its little thing. So as long as that's parallel and up, and you know that this is parallel to the chain stay, you can push that in, and that'll work too. If you do it this way, again, come back here, um, look to see that that notch is up on top, or uh, I'm sorry, the closest to the bottom of the bracket here, which is closest to the, which would be the road, road pavement. Now what you do is you'll take your tool, again, use the proper tool. Um, some people use C-clamps and kind of stuff like that. That's fine, but uh, you can damage the bracket itself. You're gonna, uh, you may damage the paint, depending on the type of bike it is. You, may not, you might want, not want to do that. <laughs> so anyway, you're going to 
Same thing in reverse. You're going to put that tool back on the uh, housing bracket. You're going to depress that there. You're going to take this pin, and before I do that real quick, I just want to show you something on this pin. I don't know if you can see this, but that pin is shaped like kind of like a nail. Looks like a na like you would have a nail head on it. Um, that top portion, which would re represent like a nail head, needs to go inside the housing. Okay, so what it should look like when it's in, uh, going in is just like this. Okay, so this this here has to go into the housing. You don't want this upright like this. Okay, this top head portion should not uh, come out of the bracket. It should go inside. So what we do is depress the tool itself. Just hold the pin again with the head down. The head goes in first. And that's it. Just let her, you'll, uh, you'll spring it, let, let loose on it, and you'll feel tension on that pin, and you're done. And then it, you're golden. It's, you're done. That's how you do it. That's the proper way to install one of these. I uh, hope that was a little helpful. Thank you.